a 10 year old patient comes to the clinic with bilateral expansion of the mandible the lesion starts at the age of 4 and has progressed until now identify the condition the options are cherubism fibrous dysplasia central giant cell granuloma and ewing sarcoma now this is a relatively easy question because bilateral expansion of jaws as we know is seen in cherubism but still we will see how to tackle this kind of a problem or the question so fibrous dysplasia Fibrous dysplasia occurs in many forms. It could be unilateral or bilateral, polyostotic, monoostotic, associated with Jaffe syndrome, Albright syndrome. So there are variations in uh, fibrous dysplasia, but here the lesion started at a younger age and it has progressed and then it has uh, come to a pause. So that is not the duration of how fibrous dysplasia goes. Fibrous dysplasia is something that starts in middle age individuals or young adults. And then it could be unilateral or bilateral. So here in the image, we see a unilateral swelling on the OPG as well, characterized by abnormal bone formation. So we can eliminate fibrous dysplasia. Then central giant cell granuloma is also uh, not a bilateral condition to say per se. Okay, And it is not very common in younger adults or young individuals, teenagers. It does not regress like that. Here you can see are the lesions of a central giant cell granuloma. It is not bilaterally symmetric. It can be unilateral in the midline and it is the one that affects the cortical plates as well. So on the OPG that is very evident. That eliminates CGCG. And Ewing sarcoma is a tumor of young individuals. It starts from around 10 to 20 years of age. Uh, usually seen in long bones. Uh, not in bilateral progression and definitely not at the age of 4. So, we can eliminate even sarcoma. Talking of cherubism, cherubism looks like this. Bilateral swelling of the mandible. Too much of immature bone present in that area. And it is, it starts usually at the age of 2 to 5 years of age. And then the diagnosis is made at around 10 to 12 years when the features are very evident. The uh, patient will appear very plump with cherub like cheeks. Cherub is the angel uh, in the French stories that we know and uh, there is bilateral symmetric expansion of the posterior mandible. There could be lymphadenopathy and the specific hallmark is the eye to heaven appearance where it appears that the eyes of the patient are uh, positioned upwards, okay, eye upturned to heaven. In the mandible, the lesions usually occur in the area of ramus as we can see in this image and the body and usually the coron condyles are usually spared. So, uh, the radiographic assessment of cherubism will also show us some bilateral or multilocular expensile radiolucencies which is a very diagnostic feature of cherubism. So, the given diagnosis in the patient should be option A, cherubism.